everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have another great fabulous video for you. This is how to incorporate essential oils into your skincare so you can have a glowing skin. You all know I love eco-friendly and natural living and I love to do things from scratch. So today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to get glowy skin, how to use essential oils in your skincare, and if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to have some great recipes, easy for any beginner DIYer. You're going to love them. You're going to love these tips and you're going to love how to get started and use essential oils in your skincare. But before we get started, I want to make sure that you incorporate these five tips today before we start making the DIY and DIY products and essential oil care. The first thing is, no matter what, even if you use essential oils in your skincare, body care, whatever, you need to get plenty of rest. So you need to figure out how much rest is essential for your skin. Most people need about six to eight hours, give or take an hour. So figure that out, decide what that is, go to bed at a normal time and wake up at a normal time. The second thing is you need to keep your skin hydrated. That is drinking plenty of water throughout the day. That is at least eight cups of eight ounce glasses of water. So you can do this, divide it in thirds throughout the day, get your third of your glasses of water in the morning, afternoon and evening. But before you go to bed, make sure that you get all of those glasses of water into your system. The next thing is you need good skincare in the summer months. So that means sunscreen. So go ahead and look and investigate and determine the best sunscreen for your body. There are a couple brands that I highly recommend and if you want more details on those brands or whatnot, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to either write up a blog post or answer that question or do a video on my sunscreen protection in the summer months. And don't think that you're not supposed to have sunscreen on in the winter months. So if you're spending a lot of time outdoors in the winter, please make sure you wear your sunscreen. And sometimes that can mean you're fully covered up and you just need to cover your face by wearing a big floppy hat. So make sure you're doing that. The next thing is you have to have a healthy diet filled with fruits and vegetables, especially antioxidant fruits such as berries and high rich greens such as kale and spinach. So that could be in a smoothie or in a salad. It does not matter. Just make sure that you incorporate that into your glowing skin. And the last thing, which is so hard, including myself, is try to eliminate stress as much as possible. There are so many different things you can do to eliminate stress by breathing, by doing things you enjoy, taking a day off and maybe taking a nap or reading a book or getting some laughter in or doing some hobbies that you enjoy. That could be yoga or going to work out. You just need to determine what you need to do to eliminate as much stress in your life. So if you have a highly stressful job or family life, you need to take time throughout the week to incorporate those activities into your life, whatever you enjoy, so you can have glowy, beautiful skin. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit about essential oils and carrier oils. The carrier oils, they range from olive oil to jojoba oil, almond oil, and such. There are five oils I highly recommend for your face and your body, and that's jojoba, olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, and almond oil. Now, sometimes we may have some skin irritation with this, and I always recommend doing a skin patch test. So just taking a little bit of the oil, rubbing it on your skin, seeing how it does in a 24-hour period, and that might be a great oil for you. Each of the oils have different properties and different things to help moisturize and give your skin the things that you need. Now the essential oils I highly recommend are things such as lavender, which we're going to use for one of our DIY products in cedarwood. And then we're going to also make a lemon sugar scrub, which is great for brightening the skin, removing all the dense skin cells off of your face and whatnot. 
The only thing with lemon essential oils I would recommend, any citrus oil, is make sure you're not exposed to sun because these are very sensitive oils to the sun. So make sure when you're using your sugar scrub that we're going to make at the end of this video that you're not going to see the sun within that 12 hour span. So I like to do this sugar scrub in the evening, right before I go to bed. My skin is fresh, it's bright, it smells amazing, and then I can have sweet dreams and beautiful skin, glowing skin when I wake up and I'm not exposed to the sun during my sleeping hours. Other oils like frankincense we're gonna use and myrrh are great oils to moisturize and to help out with anti-aging because I am getting a little older. I'm not sure about you, but you should always think about the future. Even if you're younger than me, you should always think about putting things on your skin to help give great elasticity and to help with fine lines, wrinkles, and some age spots. And those two oils are perfect for it. So, we are going to turn this camera around and looking at all my supplies displayed and we're going to go ahead and we are going to work on some of these DIY essential oils. And another one I wanted to recommend that we're going to do too is a nice shading oil. This shading oil is perfect for us female legs, but also for males too. So don't be afraid to make this don't, you know, for any significant other or a brother or anybody like that, it's a great shave oil for the face too as well. So let's go ahead, turn this camera around and get started on these essential oils if you stuck around thus far. Okay, so our first DIY skincare product we're going to make is this lemon sugar scrub and it's perfect to promote glowing skin. So you're going to need a container to house your facial sugar scrub, some Manuka honey, coconut oil, and you're going to need lemon essential oil and frankincense. I also printed out some labels and you're going to need a label so you know what you are making. First, you're gonna print out your label, cut it, and place it on the top of your sugar scrub so you know exactly what it is. And then in a bowl, you're gonna go ahead and add your coconut oil, your Manuka honey, and of course, your sugar, along with your essential oils. Okay, go ahead and get everything a good mix. I like making this facial sugar scrub because it exfoliates, it smells wonderful, and it's beautiful for the skin. It brightens it and it promotes that healthy glow. Okay, once everything is combined and it's a nice texture where you're able to scoop it out very nicely and easily, you're gonna place it in a plastic container. I'm using plastic because I don't wanna use glass because I don't want it to shatter in the bathroom. Place your cap on with your label and it is ready to enjoy. Okay, moving on, we're gonna make our next DIY essential oil for glowing skin skincare product. This is our shaving oil, it's very moisturizing. You're gonna need olive oil, castor oil, vitamin E oil, frankincense, and myrrh essential oil to make this very moisturizing shaving oil that can be used for men and women. It is safe to use on the face as well. Go ahead and combine all of your ingredients and give it a good mix. I'm gonna use a funnel to place it again in a plastic container so it prevents anything happening in the bathroom, such as glass shattering. This shaving oil is very moisturizing and wonderful. The olive oil helps prevent dryness in your skin and the castor oil helps with anti-aging. This smells wonderful and it gives a really nice shave and leaves your skin feeling silky smooth and provides that glow that we need on our legs and face.
Go ahead and place a label on your container that you're going to house your shaving oil. I like to use one with a pump because it's nice to go ahead and pump a quarter size into my hands and rub them all over my legs and then continue on with shaving. Okay, the last homemade essential oil product we're going to make for glowing skin is our eye makeup remover. So in a bowl, you're going to go ahead and combine your water, your jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, lavender and cedar wood essential oil, and give everything a good mix. I like using a makeup remo remover that's very nourishing, but also it's very cost friendly meaning that it's very inexpensive to make and there's a lot of the makeup removers that are out there that are very toxic and expensive. This not only strengthens your eyelashes, but it's cost efficient and it smells amazing. Okay, go ahead and take a funnel and put it over your desired container. Place all of the ingredients inside, secure, secure it with the lid, and place a label on it. You will use this every night to remove your eye makeup using a cotton round or a ball. So I hope this video was helpful to help you get started with using essential oils in your skincare. I hope you try any of these DIY skincare products. I promise you, you're going to love them. The shaving oil is amazing. It makes your legs so smooth and silky. And the eye makeup remover definitely gets all of your eye makeup off. And I do use it also on other parts of my face, like stubborn lipstick and things like that. So you can do that. And then last but not least, that lemon sugar scrub is amazing. Your skin is going to be so bright and so refreshing and beautiful. And all of the ingredients in there, like I said, are natural and great for your skin and these essential oils are awesome for your skin. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need any um, more information or even if you want to pin some of these recipes for later, head over to the blog post that I'm going to link down below in the description box and go on over there and pin it for later or print it for later. And then also I will link some of the products I use so you can make that step a little bit easier for you and you can go find those items so you can make some of these uh, these beautiful skincare products today. So thank you for stopping by the farmhouse. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss any videos from me and the little bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video on how to simplify your life naturally and on a budget. Yeah.